Hello, I'm Bob Peters, host of Central Florida's Salute. I'm also to say I'm a proud member of the Veterans Committee at Eagles 4273 in Leesburg, Okahumska. And we just returning from a trip to Bradenton, the committee with John Cena presenting the check for $2,001 to Tunnel for Towers. Tunnel for Towers is a great organization that's building houses for homeless, veterans, police, first responders. I hope you'll like this, and if you'll consider, maybe you can send a donation to Tunnel for Towers. I had a great day, and I want to thank my members from the uh, committee for the Veterans Committee at the Eagles, 4273. I'm Matthew Mahoney, I'm the Executive Vice President of the Tunnel to Towers Foundation. Gladly accept this check from you. For the Eagles, thank you so much for what you're doing for our greatest heroes. Thank you so much for the Air Force. Well, God bless you guys. Hi, I'm Bob Peters, host of Central Florida Salute YouTube, and I'm in Bradenton for a check presentation for Tunnel for Tower, and I have one of the VPs here. Well, could you tell us your name, please? Very nice to meet you. Gavin Naples, uh, Vice President of the Homeless Veteran Program at the Tunnel for Towers. Okay, now tell me a little bit about the Tunnel for Towers. How did it get started? Obviously, when you think of Tunnel for Towers, you think of September 11th, right? Of course. Uh, the morning of September 11th, a Brooklyn firefighter, Stephen Siller, was off duty. Uh, he heard that the South Tower had been hit. Uh, he was on his way to play golf with his brothers. He turned his car around, drove his car to the base of the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel. It was closed to vehicular traffic. So he got out of his car, he put 60 pounds of gear on his back, and he ran nearly four miles through the South Tower, uh, through the tunnel into the South Tower. He died that day, seven others. His uh, body was never recovered. Yeah, you know, I, I told you a little bit of the history I have of September 11th. I also have a good friend of mine. His name is Reverend Gary Cato. He did uh, uh, work there as a chaplain at the on, at, with the tower. That his book is uh, 10 Days of Hell and Heroes. Uh, I know a lot about what went on. And if you look at my YouTube, you'll see Mr. Cato there. Uh, uh, it, so what we're here for today is a tech presentation, a groundbreaking. What, what are, what are we uh, going to put into it? What is this? So uh, the Tunnel to Towers Foundation, since Stephen Siller's sacrifice, has given over 1,200 mortgage-free homes to catastrophic wounded and service members, the families of fallen first responders, and Gold Star families all throughout the nation. Our newest program seeks to eradicate homelessness amongst veterans nationwide, with 35,000 veterans experiencing homelessness. What we're doing, and what my program does, is we're going to places throughout the nation where the rates of homelessness are high. We're acquiring land and creating large scale veterans' villages, permanent supportive housing complexes for families. Uh, we're here today on nine acres of land that was just deeded to us by Manatee County. Uh, so we're going to be destroying all these buildings, knocking these buildings down, and creating an 85 unit. Uh, permanent housing complex for veterans surrounded by a community of 3,500. Now, a veteran that, they, that, that has this, that lives here, is he going to uh, own the house or is it, is it like a... Uh... So they, they pay rent, they have skin in the game, uh, but all the services on site are, are free and provided by Tunnel to Towers because it's not enough to just provide uh, a high quality housing accommodation for a veteran that's struggling. You have to really create a platform of rehabilitation uh, so that we can diagnose uh, veterans' uh, specific issues and work to reintegrate them back into the community. That's our ultimate objective. Well, I think it's a great project, and like I said, I'm I'm here with uh, the Eagles Veterans Committee, 4273, out of Leesburg, actually Oka and uh, we heard about you, and uh, we decided to take the two and a half hours jaunt down to. <laughs> well, we appreciate it. So, uh, yeah. But uh, I think it's a great cause. It's, uh, but anyway, if people want to learn more, you have a website, right? But where do they go? Absolutely. T2T.org and donate $11 a month to the Tunnel to Towers Foundation. Okay. A one time check for $1,000. <laughs> hey, whatever. <laughs> whatever works. Okay. Well, I want to thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, we're going to go see what's happening here. Absolutely. Nice. A lot of content. Yep. Double, comfort home, 500 square foot home. Uh, and we're going to 
35 of them on this site. Uh, it's really a great day. Okay, thank you, buddy. Thank you so much. We have another great patriot with us today. It's great to introduce Florida State Senator and United States Army Special Forces Combat Veteran Jay Collins, a highly decorated Green Beret and Special Forces medic. Senator Collins has deployed to Afghanistan, Iraq, and twice to South America. During his 2007 Afghanistan deployment, Senator Collins sustained injuries that eventually led to the amputation of his leg years later. Despite his injuries, Senator Collins served an additional five years as an active duty Green Beret. The word tough. The word tough doesn't do this warrior justice. Following his 23 years of service, Collins took a position with a nonprofit overseeing the distribution of millions of meals to veterans, first responders, and those in need. He lives a life of service, honor, and integrity. We're so happy to have you here, Senator. Thank you. I can promise you there is no place that I'd rather be than surrounded by brothers and sisters and patriots right here today. It's a beautiful day. If it's all right with you, I want to tell a little bit of my story, just a little bit. I'll keep it relatively short on regular terms, not political terms, I promise. So I grew up in Montana, a long way from Florida. I was adopted by my grandparents, a D-Day misdrop. Amazing stories of service, sacrifice, the brotherhood, the bond that draws our nation together, the glue that created a nation. And as I joined the military, I knew what I wanted to do. And in uh, September 10th, 2001, I was in airborne school. You see, you gotta test the theory of gravity before you, you do other things, right? Getting ready to do jump number two on September 11th, and we didn't do it. We flew around for hours un unaware of what had happened. My wife and I had just gotten married, and she was stationed up in D.C. and worked in the Pentagon and other places throughout the military district of Washington. That day was a catalyst for our entire adult lives. Many ended up getting, getting pulled out of jump school and moving on with their life, uh, going Lord knows where. I finished jump school, deployed rapidly, and then volunteered to become a Green Beret and continued to volunteer. But the why we volunteers was important. That day, our brothers, our sisters, our families in this city that never sleeps, the nation that created the term New York strong, right? Strong. Throughout my career, I had the opportunity to work with the NYPD, NYFD, and the ESU, the Port Authority, and many people and I can tell you, they are our brothers and their sisters, and their sacrifice that day, we grabbed that torch and we continued to fight forward. The point of Afghanistan and Iraq wasn't hard work, it was what had to be done. We were sacrificing for a nation that we love. Out of that sacrifice, we lost heroes. Many were injured. And what I want to talk about is this, the ideas, the ideals, the principles that matter. This nation was founded on unique ideas. The ideals that make us are American ideals, but it is the principles, the power of how we do things that made America great. It is those things that we fight for each and every day. It is organizations like Tunnel of Towers that make so much possible. This is a giving nation. It is a great nation. It is upheld by patriots and upheld by citizens like each of you today. And those principles, friends, they were there when we founded the nation in Yorktown. They were there in New Orleans in the earthworks. They were there at Gettysburg when this nation was getting ripped apart at its very scene. They were among the poppies of Flanders Field. They were there at the cliffs of Point Du Hoc, frozen in the Chosen River, the rice paddies of Vietnam. They were there as 9-11 happened amongst our heroes in the city that never sleeps. And they were there for two decades plus in the mountains of Afghanistan and the desert of Iraq. But where they really exist is in the heart of every American who will never forget 
what that day meant and what this nation stands for. May we never forget. My friends, here is the call to action. We have to lead. We have to do more. The very first lesson I learned as a Green Beret, the very first lesson, was that you have to leave things better than you got them. It sounds a little bit like do good, right? That's what this is about. Nobody is coming to rescue us, so we better start rescuing ourselves. They are our brothers, they are our sisters, and we will stand for them. We don't leave people behind. Here in the state of Florida, we love many things. Freedom is foremost among those. We love our first responders, we love our military and our veterans, and we love what lies ahead of us. Because it is the sacrifice of the few that created the opportunity for the many. Our nation is grateful that we have had heroes willing to sacrifice all that they were, more importantly, all that they could be. Those heroes exist today, but friends, we have work to do. I am here to tell you, there is no day like today, and thank you for sharing your most precious commodity, your time, to be here today among patriots. And what do you think? You wanna to get to work and get things done? It is a privilege to be here, it is an honor to fight for our communities, and it's an honor to remember those that were gone too soon. Remember, when the day is hot and the work is hard, pressure is a privilege. We get to do what we do in this nation. It is our privilege to do it. May God bless you, and may God continue to bless these United States. Thank you. What we need. It's a pleasure to welcome Matt Mahoney, our Executive Vice President of Development and Strategic Initiatives. You better clap, I'm the last speaker. So this is the end. It's... All right. So thank you, Brad. Uh, we're, I'm so grateful to be here. I'm, I'm not here, though, just as one of the team at Tunnel to Towers. Here is the child of a homeless veteran. I know that struggle personally. My father served six years in the United States Marine Corps, and he struggled when he got out. But he worked hard, as Marines always work hard. And he got his family straight. And soon we lived in our own apartment and grew up in a working class neighborhood in Brooklyn, New York. I'm here not just as someone the towers, but I'm here as someone who stood on the pile at Ground Zero. Someone who lost friends that day. Someone who stood maybe 20 feet from President Bush when he visited days later and told everyone that the people that knocked these buildings down would hear from all of us soon. Those of us who were there that morning when he made that impromptu speech, and by the way, we told him not to go on the fire truck, that he went on the fire truck. Um, it was a very dangerous place. There was no place to do um, an event, but he wanted to thank the men and women who were working there, and it took great personal courage. It scared the heck out of the Secret Service. Um, but when he made that speech, I could tell you, being with um, all those men and women that had been down there at that point for probably four days without any rest, without any sleep, the hairs on the back of our neck stood up. But we knew then for certain that after we stopped looking for our friends and our loved ones, that the fight would be taken from us and would be carried out by the men and women of our military. We knew then and there that this was just the beginning of something much greater, much longer, with trials, hardships to come. If you think back to that terrible day we all remember where we were. We all remember who we spoke to, who we cared for in our lives. But those days after, 
Remember those days after. Remember those weeks after. Remember the love we all had for our country. Remember the love we all had for our first responders. Remember the love we had for our men and women in uniform. I cannot speak for everyone at Ground Zero. I wouldn't try to do that, but some of them are with us here today. I know we have a few of them. If you were at the World Trade Center, would you raise your hand? Well, I can't speak for everyone. I can speak for my friends that I lost and the friends that I was with. And not one of us, if you asked us up on that pile down at the Trade Center, gee, do you think that our veterans should live on the street? Would you not fight as hard for them as you are now looking for your friends and tell you you were crazy? At Tunnelton Towers, we have made a commitment. That commitment is to make sure that the word homeless and the word veteran are never in the same sentence again. Today's only the beginning. You heard Gavin talk about all the other cities. That's this year. Wait till next year. You'll hear more. We're not going to stop until the work is finished. And it is a long, hard job. And we need each and every one of you supporting us. You're here today supporting us. We're grateful for that. But will you be here when we open this facility next year? Will you be here with us? I bet each one of you will be. I want you here when we welcome them home. I want you here when they move in. I want you welcoming here to Florida welcoming them to their, your community. Let them know they are wanted. Let them know they are loved. Let them know they are needed. They need that in their lives more than you think. We have our families. We have our homes. When they move here, this isn't going to say homeless veterans village. This says veterans village because this is their home. And unlike other programs, as well-meaning as they are, there is no clock that is ticking. There is no deadline they need to meet. They are here till they don't need it anymore. If they need it the rest of their lives, it is here for them. It is their permanent home. It is a shelter. It is a dormitory. It is a home. Home is what they fought for. And when they came back, home is what they lost. Together, all of us are going to make sure that they have that home for the rest of their lives. In closing, I just want to say God bless each and every one of you for being here today, giving your time, sitting through this heat, sitting through speeches, which I know is a lot. I know. I sit through a lot of them. These are pretty good, though, i got to say. Um, I, sit, I sit through a lot of speeches. These are good speeches. But what you see is a commitment. You see it here at your local government, your state government. It's not the same everywhere. I can tell you that right now. Where we build, it is not the same everywhere. It is not like it is here in Florida. We are blessed to be here. And, and I know that I know that our elected officials here are this way because of all of you, because of what you hold. I'm Frank Silva, I'm the chairman and CEO of the Tunnel to Towers Foundation, a foundation that was started in honor of my brother, a New York City firefighter who died on 9-11. We wanted to help children of fallen first responder families and Gold Star families who died in the line of duty. My husband was serving on a deployment with the Army in Afghanistan when he was shot and killed. And within hours, literally, um, we got a phone call from Frank Siller at Tunnel to Towers letting our family know that they'd be taking care of our mortgage. And just, I can't describe the burden that that lifts. They told me that, that he wasn't coming home. And shortly after that, we were notified that they would be paying off our mortgage. My daddy always wanted to get me and mommy a house. And we're so grateful that you helped us out. Wow, love you. Oh. Wow. Well, we, as Americans, better be there to take care of these families that are left behind.
Join the Tunnel to Towers Foundation on their mission to do good in support of America's heroes. I have signed up for $11 a month. My sister has signed up for $11 a month. Our parents have signed up. Every Gold Star family could have a mortgage-free living. I think the fact that for $11 a month you can provide peace of mind and get the family home is just unspeakable. On 9-11, hundreds of first responders died. Since then, over 7,000 service members were killed protecting our country. There are over 1,000 families that need our help. These are the people that go out every day and don't know if they're going to come home. That's why we make sure as a foundation that we take care of those Gold Star families and fall and first respond to families that have young children left behind. We're going to continue to accomplish great things. Well, I hope you enjoyed the show. It's a great organization. We had a great day down there. Nice car ride, two and a half hours each way. But anyway, to all our veterans out there, active military and their family, we salute you for all you do. Till next time.